Hello, I hope you're well. And today's our topic is uh, how to create this go back button on your WordPress website using Elementor. Essentially, or you can also create this button using other editors or Gutenberg, etc. So we will be creating it using a simple code, and we will use the button ID to run that code. So. So let me show you the functionality first. So this is the button. This is the Elementor page. And so, so when I click on this, it will go back to the previous page. So I have just created this on this content page. So if I go back, click on go back, so it will go to that previous page again. So that is how it works. So if somehow I come directly to this page, this is the contact page, so there is no back button on the Google Chrome, so there will be no button on that page because there is no previous page. The code works with the previous window, previous page that you have. So it will be blur, it will, it will not work. So it will only work when there is a previous page, so this will work also. So this has the same functionality like we have this Google Chrome back button. So this is handy in cases when, uh, when, when you have the customers they provide you with the images or, or the or the SVG. Uh, they they have the branding based on that. So, so they provide you that that image and they they ask you to create a back button. And let me show you an example of this. For example, this this is my client. It has provided me with this arrow. So it has asked me to make it a back button. So once you click on this, it will go back to that page. So it has the same functionality. So it's it's quite handy when you when you are when the the client are provides you that customized icons, or you can also create a button using Elementor or some other editor. So without wasting any time, so let's go to to the video and see how does that work. All right, so I have created this on contact page. Now I would like to create on this book page. So, so this is a book page. So you would like to create the back button at the top of that, or you you can also create it anywhere. You can create it here or whatever the recommendations of your page is according to your design. So, so I'm going to add this to the Elementor. So I'm going to add a new section here. So I'm going to give it a min height of 10 view pw view and width pw is view and width so here we put a button over here so there is a button and i just make it like uh, go back and you can just go to advanced you can go to css id and you can just put here btn dash back so this is the ID that you have to put into that button. So if you are creating with something like icon or image, for example, if I'm going to add this image here, so I'm, they have provided me with some images like, like this is the image that the previous client has provided me. So same is the case for this. You can go to this, you can make it like pixels, like 40 pixels. So you can go to advanced tab and you can give it give this as btn dash back. So that is what you have to do on the page. The rest is rest is just just the functionality and just the code that you will have to put on on your website. So, so if you are running um, running with the uh, Elementor Pro, you can go come up over here and you can paste that code in the JS section, or or you can paste over this section over here. So I'm not using Elementor Pro at the moment, so what you have to do is you can go to the plugins and you can just install the WP code like this is the plugin to enter the code. This is the nice plugin that has one million plus active installation. You can just install this plugin. I will show this code snippets over here. So you would you will go to this add new and you will go to this add your custom code and you will get you will just pick that 
that code and paste it over here. You can activate this and save this later. That's it. That's it. So, so now this code is running on your website. Let me go through this code. Uh, uh, same. So th th this code uses this that button, button back uh, ID hash VTM back to run that code. So once on click function is here being used. So there's a filter for the blur and pointer events. So if, if there is no previous page exists, so this this just blur, we can make it less blur or more blur based on these pixels. One, two, three, four, and above that. So pointer events when this there is no page access, for example, in this case, it won't be clickable. It won't be clickable. So and then there's just the on click function to go back to minus one page, the previous page that you have visited. So that's how this code works. So you can you can run you can add this code to your website using this code from this plugin, or you can add this in the Elementor Pro functionality. They they provide you that that to add that code. So that's it. So let let's see how does that work. So if I go to land directly on this page, the book page that we have added. So let me just save this first. I haven't saved that page. All right, so let's refresh that. All right, so, so both the buttons are not working because there is no back button. I, I have directly landed on this page. So if I go to this home page and then go to this books page, these buttons will be working now. So if I click on this, this is working. And if I click on other, other that, that will also be working. All right, so, so if I remove this and save this and go back to this page, refresh this, now this button is not working for some reasons. Um, okay, so let me go through and let's deactivate this, update this, refresh this. Yeah, I just need to give this, uh, this is the hash link. So from link, let's give it custom URL to make this as a link. And then go to refresh this one. Now this will be working. All right, so if I go to this page and go to books page, now this is working fine. So, so in case of images, you have to give it as a link. So it is a that active link that is that will work on like that. So, so this is how things will work. It's very handy when when you have a client that provides you that custom icons, or you can also you can also uh, brand add these branded buttons or icons on the client websites to make it more feeling and nice user experience for 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 the customers. All right, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Thanks so much.